A single tweet with 11 words quickly went viral earlier this month. The, the tweet focused on trauma, and it caught the attention of both myself and Lisa. Yeah, in the tweet, Denisha Robinson said, trauma responses that you didn't know are trauma responses. That's the thread we looked at. So far, it's been liked more than 83,000 times, retweeted more than 22,000 times. And joining us this morning to talk about it, the person behind the tweet, Janisha Robinson, a licensed professional counselor based in North Texas. Uh, Janisha specializes in mental health. Good morning. Morning. Thanks for taking this time with us. Really appreciate it. Thank you for allowing me to be here. Yeah, it's all, it's all got started with that tweet, yeah. that, that great thread that you wrote. Why do you think it struck a chord with tens of thousands of people? <laughs> so, great question. Um, I feel that tweet resonated with so many because it was a relatable tweet. I think as a whole, society minimizes what trauma can truly consist of. So, I feel like a lot of people actually felt heard and understood by the tweet. And Janisha, after that first tweet, you mentioned the different ways that trauma can affect our behavior, like depression, hypersexuality, codependence, even avoidance. The list really seems to be never ending. Yeah, I agree. The list is most definitely never ending, especially when you consider um, people's individualized reactions to trauma so in their own base, based on their own personal experiences. So. Yeah, with so many unique uh, experiences, and in some ways it could be anything, right? I mean, th th the question I would ask is, does, does deeply rooted trauma, bec because of this phrase, I guess, deeply rooted, does it always have to come from childhood? Can we have something that happens even adulthood, but it's, it's so big that that would be deeply rooted? Yeah, so most definitely, but there actually are a set of abuse patterns called the adverse childhood experiences or events that occur within the ages of zero to 17 that um, contribute to these trauma reactions. And that is just specific to childhood, but trauma can occur at any time in life. So these reactions definitely can occur at any time in life as well. What steps should someone take who may have just realized that maybe even while watching the segment that they have trauma related issues that they need to work through? Well, first, I would advise them to just take a deep breath because um, recognizing that you're experiencing something that's new can be very hard and it can be a little overwhelming. But just know and understand that there are interventions that are that have been proven to help with these things and find a therapist. The second step would be find a therapist that you can relate to, that you feel you can work with, that you can feel safe with. And um, you and that therapist just collaborate together to create a, a treatment plan that can can help you process and heal from the, the trauma that you've endured. Yeah, let's talk about finding a therapist, Janisha, because I think for so many folks, it's it can be tricky, it's tough. It, it kind of feels like dating sometimes. You gotta find that one person who gets you, who doesn't sound condescending, who you can sit and feel comfortable enough to open everything up right. and say, this is what I'm going through. What steps should you take to try and find that right person who can help you work through your issues? Yeah, that's so funny. I say that all the time. It is definitely like finding a partner or something. <laughs> like, you have to go through so many steps. So I actually have a thread on it as well. And um, so I think that the first step is just doing some research and trying to figure out which interventions would work well with you that you can mesh well with. And there are a lot of, a lot of those. So I would suggest just doing some research on that. And then once you find a therapist that kind of relates to like one of those interventions that you feel you'll mesh well with, then see of your insurance if they take mm -hmm. your insurance and just go from there now um you can have a free consultation sometimes consultations aren't free but you can have a consultation with this therapist and ask them questions ask them you know have you worked with people like me have you worked with people with um who have been through these things and what have been your success rates i think that everybody when they're looking for a therapist should at least ask those three things uh, can I ask you, Janisha, what inspired you to write that tweet in particular? Was there something that happened that, that made you think, you know, trauma would be a great topic, mm -hmm. you know, for people? What, what, what got this whole thing started? Yeah, so actually, no, I've been um, creating content like this on my social media platforms for about two to three years now. So some days I just wake up and I'm like, well, let me um, educate the world about this. And I definitely didn't expect it to get the engagement that it did, but I'm glad that it did because it has people talking about it. And for me, that's the only goal that I have for people to understand that mental health and mental illness, they are real and we need to take them seriously.
That's a great goal that you have. You should be so proud of yourself. I've, I don't know if I recall a time in, in our history when so many people are in need of some kind of mental health um, yeah. care. Sure, and, and, and a time when we're, we're all able to talk about it so freely. Yeah. Uh, and to Janisha, to your point, that's, you know, the tweet was something relatable. It was something that, I mean, that, that's what sort of caught me off guard because I, I think when I was reading the tweet, as I was reading, I started thinking about my own life and my own behavior and I started saying, well, wait a minute, where does this behavior come from, yeah. right? So, so I guess there's nothing wrong with us studying ourselves, huh? Right, I encourage you. Um, Self-awareness is something that is so important and it helps you kind of like heal from within. Once you make that and you take that and make it a priority, you can learn so much about yourself that can help and influence the way that you respond to other people and just love yourself. That's right. And I, I can hear my mom saying, we had a tough time too, so we went through Vietnam. I can hear her going, like, there are, there are certain mental health crises that people sure. go through through every generation. But right. I feel like there's such a desperate need right now for mm -hmm. some intervention. Um, Tanisha, you wrote a free ebook on preventative coping called Coping Ain't Easy. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, definitely. So um, it's a self-help guide for creating an effective coping plan just for daily stressors. And so it talks about what stress really is. It contains tips on how to create a coping plan that will hopefully lead to less stressful days and weeks and uh, basically a less stressful lifestyle. And so um, there are also three free worksheets that I created on my own um, that are in the book that help incorporate the skills that I discussed in the book into your daily life. And that can be found on my social media platforms in the link in my bio. Okay, and, and what are those, uh, I guess, handles, right? What do we call them now? Handles yeah. to Twitter? Tick, what are you on, TikTok? Are you everywhere? What <laughs> platforms so are you things. on? I'm everywhere. So um, there's a link tree in my bio okay. on both Instagram and Twitter, and you can find me everywhere on there. So on Twitter, my handle is ATM with a JC, J A C Y. And on Instagram, it's all things mental with JC, J A C Y. Okay, that, that link tree is super helpful because people can get in touch with you in many different ways. Yeah. So. Thank you so much, licensed professional counselor Janisha Robinson, for your time and your insight and just being a help to so many. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for allowing me to be here.